Okay, guys, I've been at it. So, um, changing the, um, the uh, whatchamacallit, transmount on my Honda Element. Some of you have been following me. Um, I've, got, I've got a Honda, 04 Honda Element where I changed the starter, the alternator, the, uh, the belts. Uh, it's the stuff I've been doing all over. And then fans. The last two I haven't put on the internet yet, the alternator and the belts, they're, they're pretty simple, but still can be a pain in the butt. Today is the pain in the butt, let me show you. This metal bracket right here, first you have to take the battery out, your, uh, your air box out, which is like over here. Um, it's three bolts, it's stupid simple. It's like, they're right there and it's right there. And there's another one, literally right here. It's 10 millimeters, it takes 10 seconds. Rubber hose pops off. I mean, there's nothing holding it on. The, this, the, the craziest thing is pulling off your air filter, but you don't even have to do that. You can, you can just pop this off, take out those 10 millimeter hose. Don't even have to take this thing off. But basically what I did was I pulled the old one out. I literally 17 millimeter socket and I undid this bolt, that bolt, and that bolt. And there's two, there's one down there and there's a sister bolt just like that on the other side. There's one up top, take it off. This is the old one. The old one was done pretty good. As you can see, the cracks. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I know the lighting is terrible. But there you go. You see the cracks right there? So whenever I would shift, I'd get a herking and jerking sensation. And that was what's causing the jerking. Now, this car's got 340,000 miles on it. 300, almost 350,000, excuse me. And this is the original one. So, basically, I pulled that out and I took this nut, 17 millimeter again. You can do it with a simple drill or maybe a Milwaukee. Here's what I suggest. I suggest you break everything loose from the, um, while everything is there. Don't take everything out completely. Put you a, uh, a wrench like this. I just happen to have a ratchet wrench. So it ratchets as I turn it. So it, you can get good leverage on it and you can break it loose. Don't pull it out completely. Just break everything loose. Mainly, um, this one right here and then everything else, I guess you can just kind of take out, but I did it the wrong way. I went in and I, I just broke everything loose and I tore the whole contraption out onto the ground, but only because I've got a really fancy drill I just put my foot on one of the ears, stuck the drill to it, and it just came right off. If you watch my short, you'll see what I did. Um, and when it comes to putting this thing back together, the way that I suggest you do it is this. I went and got my jack. I put a block up underneath the transmission. That way you don't put a hole through the bottom of your transmission, and that'll be bad, or even causing a crack to make it leak. Because, again, it's your transmission. Um, and then you line all the bolts up. Don't tighten nothing down, nothing down. And you line everything up. You get like five or six threads and all of them. The problem is, is when I pulled everything off, I didn't initially support the transmission. And then so these bolts, excuse me. Sorry, guys. My fingers are in the way. This bolt and this bolt were not threading. I spent like 20 minutes trying to hand thread these a piece. And I had to line up the transmission accordingly. And then now I'm getting ready to, uh, to um, tighten them down a little bit more with my, um, with my drill. And, you know, put the screws to it. Now everything's on. Everything's got like five or six threads on it. And uh, so all I got to do is put everything back together in, in, in reverse order. So it's an easy enough job to do. Um, if you've got a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet and a 3 8 drive, you can pretty much take most of this car apart. There's a few bolts that you will need, like a, an actual drill, because the starter bolt is one of them, but there's a few others. But mainly, this right here, you really don't, don't need a whole lot. So if your car is jerking every time you come to a stop and you go to take off and you feel like it's jerking real hard on you when it goes to shift, and it's not your transmission that's met the problem, 
it's, it's the mount causing it to um, not line up with the engine correctly, and that, and that bushing is out. That's all it is. So I actually went and I got all four of the um, uh, mounts. So there's trans mount, there's two engine mounts, front and rear, because I got an automatic, and I have the side, trans, side mount over here, so there's three engine mounts, really. Um, so I'm gonna change all those tonight. There are 17 millimeter as well. Um, just support the engine with a block underneath the oil pan. Give it a little lift. Don't, don't, don't give it a ton of pressure. Just lift it just a little bit and you'll got it. Um, but I'll probably end up showing you guys what I'm doing here in a minute. Now, if you see I'm in my shop, I don't have any lights. I had to, I had a bad day at work as you guys see in this video. And uh, we'll continue on probably in a new Mac <laughs> because yeah, I got word from the shop. What it ended up being was, if you know anything about trucks, the DPF system was completely trashed. Um, and um, basically the shop took all those pipes across a part that we showed earlier, blew them out, put them back together and, and then the truck went right back to what it was doing, just kind of not really idling all that great, just idling really badly and roughly. And then so they tore apart the turbo and the turbo actuator, found a bunch of clogged stuff, the EGRs clogged, and then they chased all of that back through and they blew it apart. They chased it all the way back through the DEF system. And it's basically a stupid sensor sitting on top of the DEF that's gone bad. So they ripped one from a, a, a functioning truck and then brought it over, which idled perfectly. So they thought, well, to get our truck running, they were gonna rob Peter to pay Paul for basically a good running truck and, and to put it on ours. Well, in the process, they broke that part. So <laughs> now they have two non-functioning trucks. It happens, you know, it, it, crap like that happens. So um, it's all you can do is just to, Keep moving, keep moving. Meanwhile, I'm gonna finish this up and try to see if I can't button up this short that I'm doing. I'm still learning how to do shorts and do them right. There are several people that I'll follow. They do really, really well about keeping everything short. And let me tell you, keeping everything under a minute, it's difficult, it really is. Meanwhile, you guys should see me in the morning. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually film or not tonight because I don't have the, the mount. My GoPro is charging. Um, and, uh, my little stand for the GoPro, yeah, I lost it on my trip to West Virginia. So anyways, back at the grind.